So, let's take a look at the actions of the President of the United States. And what's going on on Twitter right now, and the, the latest with this whole video of President Trump body slamming somebody that has got CNN logo for a head. Now, look, is he calling for violence against the media? I don't think so. Is he contributing to an atmosphere that promotes violence? I don't know. I, I mean, you could make that argument, I suppose. Is it mature? No. Is it the right thing to do? I, I don't think so. No, if we put it the other way, let's say somebody else had taken a video of wrestlers going at it in the ring and had superimposed Trump's face on top of some other wrestler being smashed by you know, Hulk Hogan or whatever, or by CNN, whatever. Wouldn't Trump be like just screaming bloody murder and filing lawsuits? I, this needs to stop. <laughs> now look, people talk about, oh, it's beneath the office of the president. No, it's not. The presidency has always been a circus. Think about it, all the way back to the feud between Thomas Jefferson and his own vice president. Think about this. I mean, didn't, didn't Aaron Burr end up, like, killing somebody? Alexander Hamilton? There's like a, a musical about that, right? I mean, look, this is nothing new. And people are, are acting as a small... Oh, we're at the very bottom of the democratic process. No, the, the democratic process has always been a bottom-feeding process. People don't run for office because they are successful businessmen. People run for office because they've got nowhere else to go. Okay? I just want to throw that out there for you. People do not think that they have a right to rule over you if they have a mind. I'm, I'm, who do you know that is better equipped to run your life than you? Anybody? Do you think that you ought to be able to just hand over your personal affairs to somebody else? Hand over your checkbook to somebody else? Hand over your decisions on, on how your home is going to be protected to somebody else? Because that's what politicians demand of you. And it doesn't matter whether we're talking about the President of the United States or the Governor of your state or the mayor of your borough or county or your city. All we're talking about here is that people who run for office, by the very nature that they're running for office, are demonstrating that they're not fit for the role. Whether they're making videos of themselves body slamming CNN, or I, I don't think he actually made that video. I think somebody posted it to his website and he's like, hey, hey that's funny. And, and, and then people are like, it's not presidential for you to keep tweeting like this. And it's like, did you hear his response? It's like, it's not presidential, it's modern day presidential. Don't forget, I won the election by social media. And we're going to keep on winning. Right. Because that's what life is all about. I'm disappointed. No, I honestly, I, I'm not disappointed in Trump because I never expected anything different from him. I'm not disappointed in the political process because I didn't expect anything different from that. I'm disappointed in the people who thought that maybe this time it'll be different. Maybe this time, if we vote for an outsider, it'll be different and we'll have a different outcome. You're still putting someone in charge of your life. Welcome to the circus, my friend. If you'd like to call in, the number here, 907-458-0495. I'd love to engage you in a conversation. Send me an email if you prefer, steve at radiofreespeech.com. And make sure you check out all of the different... Okay, there it goes. I guess we're done for the day. <laughs>